No. No. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Connie. Hey, Bloomin'. Hey, Kay. Y'all, I kept, I kept my shirt on long enough to let y'all see. Y'all see? Y'all, I wasn't thinking about my, my gloves being in my pockets when I took my thumbnail. But you know what? I've done just enough getting ready for this video. Hey, Peggy, hey, Bama, Miss Helen, Sharon. Whoa. Charles, good morning, my friend. Okay, take this shirt off. I got me some new gloves for my project. Unlike my son, my hands are not as tough as his. <laughs> I guess y'all saw the title of my video, Michelle, hey. I got to rest a minute, y'all. Getting ready for my video wore me out. Ain't that terrible? <laughs> y'all not like that, are you? <laughs> and look, if the camera's crooked, y'all bear with me, cause you know, it ain't all about the camera being crooked today. <laughs> hey, Nancy, hey, Daily Bread. <laughs> y'all, I, have got a video that not exactly what one of the viewers requested, but it is somewhat. So, <sighs> sometimes we do try to satisfy our viewers. I can tell my house needs pressure washing again, <laughs> sitting here like this, but y'all, One of the viewers said the other day, in a nice way, and Lord, honey, I don't fault them, not one bit for what they said, because I have said the same thing to Mystery Man. I said, you just need to let me get me a dumpster and have it brought here to the house, and y'all just need to let me get rid of what I want to get rid of. But needless to say, Mr. Man won't let me do that because... Oh, thank you, Nancy and Miss Helen. Hey, um... Because he knows when I start, I'm going to get rid of something he wants. And y'all, he wants everything. Whether he's going to use it or not, he still wants it just in case he decides to. <laughs> but I've started making me some priority list. And the dogs are barking at a motorcycle. Maybe they'll quit in a minute, y'all. But, um, and I've got a lot of things done off my priority list. Hey, Miss Piggy. Yeah, good morning to everybody out there. Mother Earth, hey, good morning. But, um, y'all, I sit up and watch well, we sat up and watched movies last night till three or a little after three. And I think I lay down. Excuse me. See, I'm yawning already. Y'all just do this to me. They just something about sitting down in a chair doing the video. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> I think I went to bed about ten minutes before that last movie ended because 
I had done got to so tired I didn't really care how it ended. <laughs> so I went to bed. <laughs> but I enjoyed being able to set up on Saturday night or Friday nights when I don't have to get up and go to work Saturday. But um, I can set up late on Saturday night and still make it to church. Y'all forgive me for yawning, y'all. But um, y'all saw the title of my video, When the Cats Away, the Mice Are Play. Well, I'm only one mouse, but I'm gonna play a little bit today. I'm going to have to play a lot longer than this battery is going to hold out. Hey, Stephen, they saying hey to you, so I know you're watching Mama. <clears throat> um, this this affects you some, son, so um, you might want to hang on tight and watch for a little while. <laughs> but all I can promise you and your dad is... I am not going to throw away anything except just trash at this moment. <laughs> I'm going to give each of you a chance to go through your pile and keep what you want to keep and relocate it to another spot. It don't have to be out of the yard, just another spot. Or either trash it yourself. And here is my challenge to y'all as the men folks around here. Y'all have, let's see, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm supposed to work Friday. I don't know how long, but anyway. I'm going to give y'all to today week, which will be next Saturday. That's fair enough, ain't it, YouTube folks? I'm going to give y'all to next Saturday in order to have gone through your pile, took out what you want to keep, and after next Saturday, it permanently goes to the trash if you have not relocated what you want. It goes for a mystery man too. And I know what he'd do. He'd say, okay, I want to keep this and this and this and this and this. And he'll want me to find somewhere for it. So I might as well, you know, help him out a little bit. But y'all, I honestly don't know what is good and what is bad. But getting back to the viewer, she made a lot of sense. She said, well, why don't y'all have a family day cleanup and just get you a big dumpster? You know what? I don't know if one dumpster would actually hold this. Well, what I would put in it. It might not hold what I would put in it, but it would hold what they would put in it. <laughs> we would only need a couple of these uh, rider, riling trash cans for what they'd probably throw away. <laughs> I do have a plan, Charles, but but don't y'all think that, Stephen, if you're watching, hey, don't you think till next Saturday afternoon is plenty of time for y'all to cipher what you want out of your pile? I mean, Mr. Man's got all next week, even if he does it at dark when he's running around a lot because he's like me. He's going to have to do a little bit, and then he's going to have to rest. Sounds like a plan. That's right, Miss Nancy. And you know, I don't care if their pile sets out here a week. I don't. I don't have not one speck of trash or garbage around my house outside. Not one bit. I hear you. You go, girl. Well, this is years of accumulating. <laughs> and y'all, we have done this a bunch. I know it don't look like it, but we have. Oh, but the inside is totally different. Well, Bloomin', mine needs some inside work, too. I do have the dishes washed. There's only a couple. <laughs> you two ladies are real bossy. <laughs> I hear you, Halona. <laughs> I need 
two dumps are for the inside. Yeah. Well, y'all. Let me see if let me, let me take one of these gloves off. I'll show y'all. Let's see if I can turn this around. Y'all remember them containers right there that I went and bought me and Steven? Okay. That's the ones I had. I had stuff in them. But for some reason, I woke up this morning. Y'all see this? Danny's done showed y'all this picture right here. But for some reason, I woke up this morning. And I was trying to think of a video to do. And I tell y'all what, y'all need to share this. We got to have, we need a thousand people watching this instead of 111. Because I know we not the only ones like this. And I'm going to be able to help y'all today. I'm going to be able to help y'all. <laughs> as long as my back hold out. I may have to come sit down before the battery dies. But I am going to have to get started in a minute because I don't know how long the battery will last. But, um, that's my plan. But that's my totes. I had stuff in in the house. Well, I had this bright idea this morning. I don't necessarily think this came from the Lord. It wasn't one of them intervention things. It was just my brain thinking, what can I do a video on? I need a good video. And I don't need to have to be real dressed up to do it. Because <laughs> it's Saturday. <laughs> okay. So. My thought was, empty your totes and go out there to that work table and see if you can find it. I mean, I can see some of the legs on it. And I can see some of the wood going around it. But I'm going to give Mystery Man, if I possibly can hold out to do it. I will before tonight, so complete the task, I assure you. But I am going to give Mystery Man his table back. So... Hope it don't rain this week, because I don't know where I'm going to pile this stuff. But anyway, Stephen, who's cutting? You can hear that. It sounds like it's coming from across the road to the right over there. So I think it's probably that young boy that bought to the right of you. He's a sawing up something, ain't he? I mean, this camera's good if you can hear that, son. Hey, watch your camera video. Let me know if anything's going on. Oh, Stephen, I don't know if I even told you or not, but the other day, <clears throat> when I was checking right after I got home, I was checking the mail. You and Bentley was going somewhere to eat or something. And I said, well, I'll go over here and check Stephen's mailbox. So I know that the inside is small and they can't put that much in it. But I said, I better go check it. So I went and checked it. And just before I got up to your mailbox, I heard somebody. It sounded like they was either on a four-wheeler or they had a, a vehicle. Sounding like you was driving it, but you wasn't at home way back there in the woods across at your house sound like they were just tearing something up i mean sorry y'all controlling the eyebrow i can do like this and hold them back <laughs> anyway i went straight across the road didn't have my cell phone didn't have my pistol didn't have nothing so i went straight across the road over there and i said well i'm gonna have to confront whoever this is so but i was gonna do it in a nice way you know, like Patrick Swayze says, be nice. And I'll let you know when it's time not to be nice. Some I can't say it like he does, but anyway, or he did. But anyway, I went over there. I mean, it was real loud. Sound like it was coming, I mean, right off of your property. So I walked over there. I went all the way back to where the ribbons was hanging. 
And as soon as I got to where the ribbons was hanging, and I was looking all around, walking out there, I didn't hear another sound. Not another sound. And I stood out there, I don't know, about 10 minutes. I never heard another sound. Never heard anybody walking or anything. So I come on back to the house. I don't know who it was, but they wasn't on your land. But it sure sounded like they was. Okay. Got that story told. <laughs> but anyway. I emptied my stuff out of my five totes. And I said, I'm just going to go out there and put as much of that stuff in them totes as I can. And then what I think would I would throw away or whatever, or relocate, I'm going to put it in a pile. And... Oh, thank you, Brian. It's, I know one thing. It's not Mr. Wilbur because it's too far away sounding. <laughs> oh, you very welcome. Y'all, I know that y'all like to thank us. I love you too, Brian. I sure do. And Cheryl too. And everybody. But y'all... I'm gonna have to get over here and get started because, like I say, I don't know how long my battery's gonna stay up. But I mean, y'all got to share, y'all got to like and share this thing because the whole world needs to see this. I mean, if we could get one one of Miss Haley's viewers on here and let them share it with everybody, I don't know. Anyway. We just need, everybody needs to know how to play when the cat's away. <laughs> and Miss Tammy's going to show y'all. <laughs> I don't know how much talking I'll get to do. And I probably will go around my elbow to get to what I want to do. So this is not no patent way to do it. Trust me, this is Miss Tammy thinking and Miss Tammy reacting in her own way. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and tell y'all, it's not going to be like y'all would do it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to turn it around and let y'all see the mess. And, uh-oh, big tree just fell. I heard it. I sure will, Nancy. I'll keep Matthew on my prayer list. I sure will. Y'all, depression is a bad thing. It is a bad thing. And if you've never had it, I guarantee you one day you will. If you've gone through your life and never been depressed about anything, oh, you will sooner or later. The closer to all these events taking place in the world. Oh, you heard the tree fall too? Mm, makes me kind of want to walk out to the road now. <laughs> but somebody's cutting some timber. I tell you what, we got a, we got a lot. We got a, a, a lot to do, but right this minute, just in case. Dear Lord, we come to you right now. We thank you for everything. We ask you, Lord, to be with us. Keep us safe and traveling anywhere we travel today, even if it's just to the grocery store. But dear Lord, we come to you on behalf of Matthew right now. Dear Lord, I know he's not the only one out there, but he is the one that we're asking you to comfort and strengthen. Clear his mind, Lord. Give him happy thoughts. Let him know his worth, Lord, and let him know that you're there with him and that if he'll just grab a hold and hang on to you, that you'll get him and his mind through anything. Dear Lord, there's a lot of people out there like that. And I know that if they hadn't been, they will be sooner or later. We ask you to just strengthen us all 
Help us, Lord. Help us to only love and think as you would have us to do, Lord. But right now, go to Matthew. Strengthen his mind and his, his emotions, Lord, and his thoughts. And be with him right now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and do that, y'all. All right? I see y'all shared some because we got 181 now, and I'm telling y'all, y'all hadn't seen. Y'all ain't seen nothing to y'all seen me trying to organize and clean up something. All right, I'm going to flip y'all around. Yes, the Lord hears your prayers. He sure does. And y'all... The best part about it is he answers them, too. <laughs> Maybe not the way we want them, because the way he sees fit to strengthen Matthew's mind and to, and to clear it where he can think happy thoughts and his emotions where he can, he can feel happy and feel pleasant and feel God's presence. It might not be the, exactly the way that we would want him to do it, but his way is the right way. The only thing I fear, Reverend Dream, is God. I fear him. Because what he done for me, I did not deserve, and nobody else did either. And for his wrath later on to come to all of us, Lord help me. But I do know, even after he finishes with his wrath on me, that I'm going to spend eternity with him in heaven. And that is worth it all. Okay, y'all. I know I need this here close enough that y'all can see. But I'm not a good, I'm not, I'm not grandma by no means. So let me see. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Y'all can see the tote, the table, and the trash can. I'm going to try to get it close enough y'all can hear me talk, but I have volume in my voice anyway, y'all. I do have volume. All right, I can move the trash can over. Let's try this right here and see what happens. And y'all know I ain't going to be able to see your comments. But, y'all fellowship with one another. And y'all just watch me get dirty. All right, Stephen. I would pick up everything and say, do you want this and do you want that? But no, I ain't going to do that to you. Enjoy your, your uh, peaceful, restful day. Have fun with whatever you so choose to do. Brian, we all need prayers, but I pray for you and Cheryl every day, but I got you, buddy. I got you. All right, I'm going around the camera, y'all. Fixing to get started. I'll come back and see if y'all can hear me, so let me get over here and talk, and y'all let me know. Okay, can y'all hear me from right here? If you can't, I'll move the camera closer. I'm fixing to come look. Can y'all, could y'all hear me when I was over there? Oh, you could? Okay. All right, well, I want to make sure y'all can hear me. All right. I don't need these glasses for this, just to read y'all. All right, I know who this belongs to. This belongs to me. If you got a vehicle that's nice and it gets you where you're going and it's paid for, you're going to have to have some kind of containers in your vehicle. This is mine. Now, the reason I'm setting that on that table is that belongs to... Uh, Mystery man. We don't need this no longer. Don't know who this belongs to, but I got a feeling. 
than this mystery man. All right. Got me a snack, him, when I get hungry. I know where these is going. Oh, Lord, where do I begin? Y'all, this ain't as easy, is it? And look. I'd say the top one's dirty, wouldn't y'all? These right here. Your man's truck. Y'all know there's gonna be a bunch of this stuff I can't move, don't you? Just gonna have to move what I can. I don't know who this belongs to. Keep in mind now, this is not the day to organize everything. This is the day to clean this table off. So that don't mean it's going to wind up somewhere good. All right. Danny had some of these. And Stephen had some. All right, I know who these are. I know who these are. So, it's time to start filling the tote. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to do this like this. Oh, seriously. Pojo's pattern. <clears throat> All this is going on the table. They don't have to cipher whose is whose. Much nicer. Rolling works much nicer. Don't know how long 
that's gonna stay in there? Probably not long. Let me see. Let me see what all y'all can see. Oh, y'all can't see me when I go over to the other table. There we go. All right, y'all still there? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, we got a few. Hold on, where are my glasses? Let me see him. Ooh, 242, y'all doing a good job. Tell Hodge I love him. I sure will. Especially since you already told me you love me. I sure tell him. All right. Like I said, they're going to have to decide who's is who's. I don't know. I write my name on everything. I sure hope there ain't no black widows in this stuff. Remember when they put these together? Uh-oh. I was trying not to wear a low-cut shirt, but I see it's kind of kind of low anyway, y'all. It ain't nothing that's going to excite y'all, trust me. Just, <laughs> just bear with me. All right, that's it. This is some kind of The sticker come off of it. All right. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a chair to put in this hand bag. But you know what? Or was it an umbrella? It's, I think it's an umbrella. All right, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt of still maybe possibly having the umbrella. Garden food. Oh, no, wait. Goldfish food. Uh -huh, I didn't have my glasses on. And it ain't rope that big. I didn't know we had that goldfish food. I might have to, let me put this over here in my pile. I think I might know where to put this. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all I was going to have a pile. <clears throat> All right. Okay. See, some of it I know whose is this. Whose is it is. Whose is it is? How y'all like that? Whose is it is? Nah. I wonder how long this has been out here. This is called medication. Y'all, I tell y'all a story. Danny's daddy, he used to claim everything. I mean everything. Every tool, everything. Look at there. Look at there. I know who's this is. But, um, even after me and Danny got married, if Marvin come out here or went anywhere or even in the back of Danny's truck, if he saw a tool, he would claim it. He would say it was his. 
So Danny got him some spray paint, and he spray painted his... I want to say he done it yellow. I can't remember. But anyway, he spray painted all his tools so he'd know they was his. I kid you not. Marvin still come back and said that he had spray painted his tools that color, and they were his. <laughs> So they always had a good time with tools. And I think Danny lost out most time. All right. I don't know whose this is. I believe it's Stevens. I believe it's a pole saw that somebody got him. And I think I might know who got it for you. Now this is an empty case. And y'all, y'all know the drill goes in here but it's just an empty case. And here's a glove. This one might be Bentley's, I don't know. It's keepable if I don't see one hole because it can be washed. There might be some spiders up in that thing. Okay, so that's going to go in my pile. Because I can wash. All right. Let's see here. Don't have a clue as to what this is or what it goes to. But you know what? One of them men folks knows. And there again, even though I know Danny's got a lot of this, oh look, I found the other one. Ooh, there's hope. Okay, I'm still going to wash them. I'm gonna put, still put them on this table. They're gonna have to pick out what's whose. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Uh oh. Oopsie daisy. You know what, this thing, I'm pretty sure it's real good at what it does. It looks like it's a shock bag. See, ain't I small? Whoops! Uh oh, see, I told y'all. It's not real heavy. Oh, thank the Lord. But it don't belong in the middle of the table. Okay. Fun to go. Dominoes. Okay, they're going in here with the play toys. Because I don't know what to do with them. Staples, staples. I know who these belong to. tree. Don't have a clue as to what this is. Oh, here's a bell. I might not have had to go buy this one. It says John Deere. Bet it don't fit. Y'all reckon that don't fit? All right. Because they both have so much alike. So 
So. You know who needs to be out here, don't you? Stevens. Y'all remember when he beat them? Excuse me, y'all. Y'all remember when he beat them? Dryer up. All right, they go, they go on in here. Okay, here's something that my rabbits, oh, excuse me, our rabbits could be eating. So it's going to go over here in this other pile, my pile. Because <laughs> I feed them. I feed the rabbits. Okay, for some reason, I feel like these don't need to go in here. Wait, no. All right. These need to go in here, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. I know what these go to. I personally don't think they any good. But we'll see. Okay. Some of this stuff, it's been sent to Stephen. He hasn't. Aw, look. That's the stamp where he, he stamps stuff when he builds stuff. But you know what? He hadn't built nothing in so long until... But anyway, that and his little, his little roosters. I like them kind of roosters. They don't chase you. And there's a bag full of them right there. This is not going quite like I wanted it to. Over here, too. All right. I don't know exactly what kind of weights these are, but I believe I would have got me some a little heavier. I don't know. That might be all right for me. Looks like it's got some kind of fishing line tied around it. So it might be something, something you fish with. So that's gonna go in Stebo's bucket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, here's some math. I don't think they got no spiders in them. But let's, let's throw them in there with that. All right, here's some more staples. Danny and Stephen has some of these, so you know what? This has got to go over here. Look at here. This ain't the color of that bag, but it is an umbrella. I know y'all sitting on that camera and y'all seeing all this stuff and y'all saying, I sent that to him. Well, I don't think it's Danny Hodges. I really don't. So, we're going to stick that right there. I ain't getting much accomplished, am I, y'all? Uh-oh, that's some meat. All right, put that in there with a notepad. All right, we all know who this is. Oh. Yes, He's got a, a real nice big old fish one now. 
Y'all, I don't know if y'all price any mailboxes lately. But they ain't cheap, even if they are cheap. All right. I know that's his. I know he needs to do something with it. And he will. But like I say, y'all keep in mind, this is just clean off this table day. That's my gold. And I'm sticking to it. We all know who the tiki torches belong to. Whoops. Tiki torch. Tiki torches. You know, I think I got something wrong here. I think this needs to be here. And this needs to be here. See, I told y'all y'all wouldn't y'all wouldn't like it my way. That needs to be there. Okay. There's a tiki housing. <laughs> Ain't I funny? Y'all know I am. Oh, look. This ain't got a lid. You can screw it on and make it stay in there. Look at here. We even got some bungee cords. I don't know who they belong to, but I reckon I'll put them in Steve's box. I don't remember buying them for Danny. Look, Stephen already had a wheelbarrow. Look. <laughs> he just won't hold much. <laughs> Y'all, this is, he had some flowers in here at one time, I think, but somebody sent him this, and it's really nice. You know, he put all this stuff up here, but um, the winds came and blowed it away. But I really like this, so we'll leave it right here. All right, this looks like a little rabbit feeder. I mean, waterer, you know, you know what I'm saying. Help me, Lord, that's what Stephen says. Help me, Jesus. I really need help. Okay, let me go talk to y'all a minute. Let me go see what y'all saying. Let me see what y'all saying. Getting overwhelmed here. <laughs> so I'm gonna see what y'all saying. I do have a little corner. I almost cleared off. Okay, I'm looking. What is it, Southern girl? Brian. I saw that. That was an ugly word. Brian, are you okay? Yeah, he's a... Uh, that's, that's real close to one of the close projects is that tire. Because um, I, I actually told, told my son, I think it was yesterday, but my days, I don't really know. But anyway, Brian, are you okay, Shug? Something is not right. What you mean something's not right? Have Stephen bring you some boxes so he can transfer his stuff to his new place. Maybe he builds. Okay, a Chef Cat, that's, that's awesome. And that's what these boxes are for. But uh, Stephen is not to the point where he can transfer stuff to his new place. If he takes all his stuff over there, he'll never be able to finish building the house. His house, that's what people need to understand. His house is not where he can take his stuff over there yet. Far from it. Oh, I got a super chat. Go, Angela. Go, Angela. Go, 
and it will go. Yay! I got a super chat. I'm so glad I came and sat back down so I could see my super chat. So y'all, uh, y'all just be patient. Give it time. Um, the reason I wanted to get out here and get Mystery Man's table where he can piddle around is he feels like piddling around. And he used to use his table a lot. Yeah, he, he needs a storage building, Sheila. He does. But right now he needs electricity, a well, air conditioning. That's his three main things right now. I know he planted flowers in memory of a special, special friend of ours. And, you know, he wanted the flowers. And that's good that he can occupy his time doing that why he's waiting on this other stuff. But he does have the air conditioning man in uh, in motion. Yeah. He needs all that blooming. And I mean, it's coming. But he's doing it the way he can do it. Don't know who that is. Don't take calls. I don't know who they are. But, um, y'all, it, it takes time. And, um, the last thing I would do if I was building a house is take totes of junk or good stuff or whatever you want to call it and go stack it somewhere in my house I'm building. He's he's got to get Yeah, that's right, Blooming, but he's he's got to use his money right now for the things that he has to do for the house. Okay, Brian. Alright, I got you right now. I I got you. Hold on, y'all. Dear God, I don't know what's going on, but I know you do. You the ultimate person. You the one that we need to go to in the time of need, Lord. And I'm asking you right now to go there where Brian's at. I don't know if it's Brian. I don't know if it's Cheryl, her daddy. I don't know what it is. But dear Lord, I'm telling you that you know everything. And whatever it is that they need right now for this time and this hour, I pray that you will give it to them, Lord. I don't know if it's healing, strength, peace. I don't, I don't know what it is. And dear God, it's really none of my business. I just need to know there's a need there. And Brian said, please pray. So Brian, on behalf of you and your family, whatever it is, God knows. And God has heard this prayer and God will take care of it. And I'm encouraging all the YouTube people who are listening right now, the ones that's chatting and the ones that's behind the scenes, please. Take a moment and pray for Brian and them right now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brian, you stay on here so we can keep a check on you, okay? We pray. And the YouTubers are praying. And God knows. And God will answer. Okay? See, it's, it's not good for me to walk away from my camera. Because <laughs> I can't see y'all's comments. And that was important, and I needed to see them. Let's see, somebody just, somebody just dinged my phone. Let's see. see nothing that looks important. Oh, I know how to do it. I didn't go to my message. Let's see. All 
All right, I don't see uh, anything. Brian's blood sugar, check please. Is Cheryl with you, Brian, or is she working? Now, man, you know I can't get to you, but I sent the, I sent the only person. What are you, are you laughing or crying or both? Will you please tell us something? You know I can't get to you, but God can, and he, I sent him. And I want to know what's going on. And so does everybody else. Uh, Mystery Man is uh, still napping, y'all. She's with you? All right, I feel better knowing Cheryl's with you. Now, Cheryl, please let us know what you think might be going on with Brian. Sheila, I really don't think that that that's any of our business. I'm just saying, I ain't being ugly. But we don't need to, uh, We don't need to know them kind of details. We just know that Brian needs prayer and we're praying for him. Whatever the, whatever the reason. But I assure you there's something going on with him or he wouldn't uh, ask for prayer because men just don't do that. So, we all love Brian, but... I ride with Danny. I hear you, Brian. Well, we love you, and we're praying for you. And um, God will take care of the uh, health issues. But um, you got to you got to take care of Brian part. God will take care of the sugar and all that other stuff. You got to do your part, man. All right, I love you. And um. You don't have to answer no real personal questions. I just wanted to make sure you was okay. <laughs> That's right, Brian. If Cheryl's there with you, you're you going to be all right. You listen to Cheryl, okay? Because that's what us wives do. We love y'all. We're going to be there with you, and we're going to take care of you the best way we can, and when it gets to where we can't, we... Come on, Lord, it's your turn. Oh. Hey, well, I know there ain't too much wrong with you since you said that. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you and Ron and... Oh, Lord, I, I'll leave somebody out. Sure as the world. But, um... Y'all tell me stuff like that all the time. And I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Oh, y'all make me feel good. Yes. What Sally said. Everybody here loves you. Um. Yeah, that, that could be the case, but I don't really think it is, Sheila. And I'm not there, but he'll be fine with Cheryl there with him. He'll be fine. Okay, just making sure that wasn't not something I needed to read. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to um, I'm gonna get back over here, and I'm going to uh, do a little bit more cleaning up or, or scattering. It ain't working quite like I thought it would. 
But anyway. Y'all just uh, keep praying for one another. And Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Helen. Uh, yeah, Bama. God's got this. He sure does. And and I feel good about it. I do. And um, Cheryl knows that if there's anything that we can do or other than pray, that um, she's got our number. Aww. Thank you, Brian. All right. Okay, we got 314. Okay, I sure will, Carol. I'm going to pray for Miss Carol to have safe traveling mercies. Because I tell you what, people on the road, they, they don't pay attention. <laughs> All right. Oh, y'all, I miss, I miss a, a super chat or something because... Uh, I got a uh, six ninety nine now. Oh, let me. Oh, I don't know who done it, but look, go whoever, go whoever, go whoever, go! Yay! All right now. They're making all kind of racket across the road now. All right, let me get over here, and if they keep doing too much, I'll have to go over there and check it out. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get back over here and um. Oh, I put my glove on before I... Yeah, Stephen loved to make all kind of projects. And one day, he's going to get back to projects. Oh, Gina. Thank you, Gina. Oh, let me redo it then. Go, Gina. Go, Gina. Go, Gina. Go. Yay! Thank you, Gina. Uh-oh, I dropped my glove. Thank you. And thank you for telling me who it was. All right, y'all. Y'all keep up with my super chatters and thank thank them so I can get over here and do a little bit more work, okay? All right. Look, birdhouse built by Stephen Hodges. I'm telling you what, has an air-conditioned hole up here. Okay. Look at here. This here is built by Stephen Hodges. It has a few bird seeds on it, birds to spin. You can finish it any way you want to. You can finish it your way. Do I get a dollar, dollar? Come on, anybody want to give a dollar, dollar, dollar? Come on, come, come on. Nah, it's worth more than that. Let's start, let's start 15. Come on, $15, $15. Anybody got 15? Come on, come on. I can't see y'all, but come on, $15. All right, 15 and a quarter, 15 and a quarter. Oh, let's go higher. This was made by Stephen Hodges, famous YouTuber and, and TikTok. Stephen Hodges. He can sing to you on a video while you painting your own way. Project. Come on, come on. 16, 16, do I get 16? Do I got 16? Come on, y'all, raise your hand, come on. 16, 17, 17. I know he don't sell them, but this ain't selling, this is auctioning. 17, 17, 50, do I got 17, 50? Okay, 18, 18, oh yeah, thank you, 18. Okay, 18, okay. Oh, look at there, thank you, $100, all right. Anybody got 150, 150? I mean like 150 cent, come on, 50 cent? Oh, okay, all right. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gonna be sold to the highest bidder now. Highest bidder, and I ain't looking. 150, okay, okay, okay. All right, $110, $110. Come on, y'all, this is built by Stephen Hodges. Look here, and you can finish it your way. All right, y'all got 110, 110, 110. All right, all right, all right, thank you, thank you, 120. Let's just jump $10 that time, 120, come on. 120, 120 going once, 120 going twice. Sold for $110 to that lucky bidder. All right, and you can finish it your own way. 
All right. How do y'all like my auction? I'm not a good auctioneer. All right, I like this. Thank y'all so much. I have no idea who bought it for $110, but bless your heart. supposed to be in here with this, but we fixing to, we fixing to zip this thing up, or we're going to try. Y'all keep checking on Brian and Cheryl now. Okay, that's enough zipping. It ain't want to zip. If you have never smelt the grease that comes out of one of these right here, ladies, you need to. Everybody needs at least one experience with the smell of this grease. It's a life-changing experience. <laughs> some kind of battery. Lord knows that could belong to most anybody. Looks like a little lawnmower, motorcycle lawnmower battery or something. I don't know. All right, here's some more tools. Oh, here's some stuff. know what that is. But guess what? I don't. More tools. They're going to keep on with that saw. I'm going to have to go see what's going on. 
that ain't no good. But I just ain't got the heart to throw it away. It is coming from yonder way, though. I do know that, so. Dang, I forgot what my secret was, just that quick. Now I was going to tell y'all something. Oh, oh! Now look. That was a spider. He done made him a home in him with the crosses. Knowing that ain't gonna work. No sir ready. He's down there somewhere. I don't exactly see him, but I tell y'all one thing. If he gets on Miss Tammy, y'all gonna all know what. Ah! Why does spiders got to get on everything? I mean, ain't they enough? Ain't they enough outside crap? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. That wasn't a nice word. It stinks just as bad as the other one. Now that spider done flew the coop. I don't know where he went. Oh, baby spiders running everywhere. One of them things where you cuts the hole into the birdhouse. I don't guess we need that. You need these things all the time, all different kind of sizes. But we're gonna hang on to that for sure. All right. Here's some. 
a screen. Hey, we've been wanting a screen door. Look at him. Look at him, Mr. Man. When you wake up and watch my video, uh, here's you some screen. You can make a screen door. You can do it. Uh-oh, you ain't too good when I drop something, y'all. That's one of them pencils. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart rolled away. See, that's why I don't sing. All right, let me come back over here a minute. Hey, I'm getting, I'm getting something done now. This might not look like it. Let's see. See, I got two corners. This is not a fast project. Just in case y'all wondering. Not a fast product. Ooh, got 316 watching. Okay, y'all. 120, uh, 130 likes. Ooh, all right. I'm trying to think whether I can pick that, that light up or not. Thank you, Lula Bug. Sandra, I am having fun to a certain extent. I really am. I like getting something done. Now, I need to be in my house doing some stuff. Because like I say, I empty, I empty uh, all my bedspreads and blankets and stuff out of these topes. But then I decided I don't really know what to put in the topes because I don't know whose is what. It does, Lynn Burns. Come on down here, girlfriend. You can help me. We'll, we'll call it the Lynn Burns. Oh, Christina's in here. Oh, hey, Miss Helen. Hey, Christina, if you in there. I hope, I hope y'all enjoying the last few days of your spring holidays. I sure do. And y'all, yeah, um, Bentley, he, he had to uh, go back to his mama, so that's why he wasn't at the concert, y'all. <laughs> he sure wanted to be. I know you'll help, Lynn Burns. I know you will. And if you was down here, we, we'd have Mr. Man out here. He'd be bringing us a Coca-Cola or some ice water or, or some coffee. If you was here, yes, he would. Hey, Vicky. Reed and Huck are much better sitting on the dock at the lake. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes. You see what Mama's doing? Mama's trying to throw away, but nah, it ain't working too good. Well, Christina, you talk to them a little bit. I'm glad you got in there and said hey. Hey, y'all, guess who? <laughs> guess who went on? Um, I want to say on a hike, but he didn't get very far this morning. Guess who went on a hike this morning? Can anybody guess? Who went on a hike this morning? Yes, it is, Diana. I wish I could sing. Christina can sing. Stephen can sing. Danny can sing. No, it wasn't Danny. He's he's resting. We set up half the night watching movies. It was somebody. Oh, let me turn the camera around so y'all can see me. It was somebody about this tall and about this long. <laughs> Did 
just decided to go on a hike, a nature walk this morning. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing good, Blooming. And Miss Sandra, I think Sandra was saying that to Blooming, yeah. No. Wasn't cricket. All right, maybe, maybe he was a little taller than that. <laughs> Not a bunny. Them bunnies like carrots. I've been giving them carrots. Not lady. All right, I got to sit here to y'all guess. Apollo! That's right, Christina. Apollo went on a nature walk this morning. And you know, Stephen has the cameras that let you know if there's a predator in the area. But it'll also let you know if there's a child trying to escape. <laughs> so it went off this morning and sure enough, Apollo then took him a nature walk. So, we don't have to worry about it no more. There's a, there's a, a log <laughs> in between the gate and the fence where little Apollo could apparently squeeze through. So, we got it fixed where he can't get out now. But yeah, he decided to take him a, a nature walk. He just walked around the pen blooming, outside the pen. He wasn't going to get too far away from Mama. <laughs> but that camera was... <laughs> Bodie said a kid. That's a baby goat. Yeah, Apollo, the baby goat. The little Billy. <clears throat> yeah. But after he got outside, he, he decided he didn't want to be too far away from his mama, so he went back in on his own. But, um... We was gonna go over there and put him back in, and he had done got back in. But we fixed the hole where he where he can't get out. Steve, Stephen said, <laughs> Stephen said, <laughs> I guess he just came to cracking the fence, the gate, <laughs> and he did, cause we walked around and we didn't see anywhere else he could have got out, so we stuck a log up in between there, but um, when when Stephen gets time, I think he's going to put another pole there or something, but that was that was funny now. He, Apollo was just taking him a nature walk around the pen, and he kept going in front of the camera. <laughs> he, he, but thank the Lord he didn't want to get too far away from his mama. <laughs> Well, I don't know, Carol. Um, on the weekends, uh, Stephen usually likes to get in some of his extracurricular activities. And um, when he leaves the house, I know he's either going to eat or going fishing <laughs> or going to town to buy something. <laughs> and I, I, I uh, hadn't asked, so... I know people find that hard to believe, but, you know, he's grown. So, he's doing one, of, probably one of them three things. <laughs> oh. But y'all, when you, when you live in a, a tiny camper like that, uh, and you're not an inside person anyway, you have to go do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of these people that could live in a tiny house. I mean, I could if I had to. But I don't want no tiny house. I would, you know, if it, you know, I could use a smaller one than what I got if I had to, but I like, I like space, you know. I like space. Okay, I got to get back to work. 
Christine, I'm glad you're watching. I got to get back to work. I got to get some more accomplished here. I don't know how Monique's doing. I uh, I haven't seen Monique in a good while. Uh, I don't know if she's had her shoulder surgery yet or not. You think you could live in one room, Bloomin'? Well, we, we pretty much stay in one room, but I don't, I don't know. Be less to clean up with. Not that I do much of that anyway, but. Woo. All right, well, I'm fixing to turn it back around. Aw, thank you, doll. Yeah, I said I knew that trash, but I, I don't have the heart to throw it all away. You said I know that's trash. <laughs> I know, Christina. I can't help it. The only time I can get rid of stuff is when you're here and you help me. And, and, and she don't even ask. I mean, she just... And um, that's a good thing. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody said Monique was having computer problems. Oh, well, I sure can't. You need me there. I do, Christina. I do. But you have fun at you have fun at the lake while y'all off, cause y'all don't get off very many days. But um, well, bless her heart if she's having computer problems. That is something I cannot help her with. I know, on and off and Facebook and YouTube. Know how to check messages. I'm trying to think of what all I do now. That's pretty much probably about it. Might be one or two more things, but it, it ain't much. I Christina would have done had it cleaned off. But I got to get up here and get started because um I don't want my battery to die before I let y'all see the clean table. All right, let me hurry up. All right, let me turn y'all back around. I don't hear any more sawing, so I, or chainsawing, so I guess they, um, they got that tree cut down they was trying to cut down. But I'm gonna go over there after a while. I won't be nosy. Now, buddy, if it was Miss Helen, she done been over there. I'm telling you. She keeps up with stuff. All right, this and this. And y'all don't lose focus of the project now. The mission is to clean the table off. That's the biggest waste of some kind of money you've ever seen. And if they want to dig it out the trash, they, when they come back around, they can. chain. A little chainsaw. There's my scissors that used to cut, that used to be in the kitchen. Y'all know I told y'all I had a bunch of scissors. If not, Stephen's got a pair just like them. Cause I got a feeling Mr. Man brought these out here to do something with. I bet to cut screen with. Somebody did.
That WD-40 wants me so bad. See, we did buy some. All right. Y'all know this is Mystery Man's because he told y'all it was. Chicken been on top of it. Let's see how many spiders is on it. To the imagination. Now, see to me. Now, ladies, y'all might agree, unless y'all project people. But to me, this old rusted metal or whatever you want to call it, some kind of stakes or something, they wouldn't be worth two cents to me. But if you throw something like this right here away, I mean, you're going to have to put Danny Hodges in a straight jacket. Because, and I don't know if they're his or Stevens, but he has all kind of uses for stuff like this. <laughs> I don't know what, but he does. Trust me. So you ain't you ain't got to run out here. And Stephen ain't got to come from wherever he's at in town or whatever. Because I'm not going to throw him away. Dewalt tools, and they actually still in the pouch. All but one. I bet that was the only one they needed when they ordered it. Or when they bought it. And Lord knows where it's at. Him. Be... Ah. Ah. Look, can anybody guess what this is? I know y'all have never seen anything like this before. Not around a Hodges house. I mean, in my new glove. Thank the Lord it's just in the glove. Okay, Stephen, if y'all happen to decide to go fishing or anything, here's your lure. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Well, I guarantee you, I can lay it down there and go back and pick it up later and stick it all in my hand. And here's something. It's some kind of tester. 
You men folks might know. And some of you ladies might know. I mean, look, ladies can mechanic. Ladies can work on stuff. This one can't. I can only work on servo valves. But anyway, here's something. Who does it belong to? Don't have a clue. It's going in the combined spot. Where they can figure out whose it is. See, I am putting some stuff in the trash. Don't know what that goes to, but I'm sure it's important. Oh, look what I found. I found the one that they bought it to use. Aha, uh -huh, I can put it in the pouch. Yeah. Look at here. I'm putting it back in its home. I'm trying to. Uh-oh. Don't give me a hard time. Now, pouch is complete again, y'all. Has all the tools in it. All right. The Zebo's lost its head now. But that's all right. Cause we got some glue around here somewhere. Another project. See, this stuff fell off of that top shelf, and y'all know little four foot eleven Miss Tammy is not gonna be able to put it back up there. Let me move it. Oh, I wish I had another table. <laughs> That's all I need is another table. Something else. oriented one time. Hey y'all, I come out here one day. Uh-oh. Woo! That was close. I come out here one day. We had a table right here. And part of it was sticking in the sun right there. And I thought, that's a funny looking drop cord. <laughs> so I walked up a little closer to it and the drop cord went to moving. There was a snake, some kind of little black snake laying on that table. He was sunbathing. So um, if they happened to be one on this table, y'all would know it. You 
hold that right there. That's a good place for the plexiglass. Y'all know what this is? I ain't telling how many times they look for this. Oh, you do it like this. Sound effects. Y'all like my sound effects? stuff when Stephen was ship them out. I wonder if it's enough to wrap me up in. Well, considering it might have whew, spiders in it, we might not want to do that. We have some bubble wrap, y'all. Okay, here's some more of them little chains that goes with them little, them little crosses. Quiz. What is this right here? <laughs> we went from using them on a daily, for a daily profession to using them for craft projects. That's right, who got it? A roofing tag. I'm gonna regroup these again. I can't make up my mind where I want to put these. I need to put them on to put something up. All right, y'all keep an eye out. If y'all see um, y'all see a spider crawling on me, y'all let me know. Okay, time to relocate this. It's heavy too, y'all. Why is everything heavy? Oh. Ah. Uh, why don't 
I just stick my head in a spider wheel? All right, let me come back and see what y'all saying. All right, y'all still with me? Yep, but I don't see no comments. Y'all ain't talking? Uh-oh, I got $16.98 now. I can see that and ain't even got my glasses on. Hold on here. Hey, Linda. Hey, Sandra. Aw. Bye, Thelma. Get you some rest. I see. Oh. All right, y'all. I got to hurry because I want y'all to see the finished product. Okay. From who? Miss Tammy, please be careful of those spiders. Yeah, I'm trying to, doll. I tell you. Um, y'all, um, I don't know who done it. Y'all could probably tell me, but, uh, go whoever, go whoever, go whoever, go. Oh, y'all can't see me. I hate it when I do that. See, I didn't know it wasn't showing my chin. Go whoever, go whoever, go whoever, go. Whoever, go. Thank you for my super chat. Ah, or more than one or whatever it was. I thank y'all. 309 watching, 159 likes, and 1698. Y'all, what more could a girl ask for? Yep. Y'all, not only is there a possibility of earthquakes in California, but there's a possibility of earthquakes anywhere. Because the days are drawing nigh. That's right. All right, well, I'm going I'm to get back over here and um, do a little bit more so I, so I can hurry. Okay. Y'all keep a chat going now. And keep liking and sharing so I can finish my project. sling this over their shoulder and tow it around a golf course. I don't understand. Where's Tiger Woods when you need him? Y'all.
Here's a DeWalt saw blade. I know what this is. Y'all remember, they got a week to get out here and claim their merchandise. Who's who's? And where does it go? Mm -hmm. This is project stuff of Stevens. Stuff he had on birdhouses. Y'all, Danny's lost a bunch of big branches. I mean, misplaced, whatever. A bunch of nice, big branches. I was in high hopes that I could find them. stuff. He gets back on projects one day. Y'all, there's a lot of this stuff. I really can't tell what it is, to tell you the truth. So it's going to go on over here in the you sort it out pile. I know what that is. That's a baby farm. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is going in the you sort it out pile. You sort it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Project, project, project. Y'all know a man don't need no instructions. See? Project. Going in the Miss Tammy pile. That's just all I want. I 
what that is. It's sort of like magnets. Definitely magnetic. I don't know. Let me put it over here. I'll let them decide whose it is and what it's for. Y'all better remind them that they got to next Saturday. To go through there their stuff. Project. Hmm. Somebody strapped. Project. All right. I gotta have another tote. Y'all still with me? my navel. <laughs> Y'all, this is rough on the back. Do not try this at home. It hurts. Smart. Danny told me, Lord, paint me a bird house. I went and bought me three things of paint. He said, What'd you buy a paint and a paintbrush? What'd you buy a paint for? Steven's got paint on all out there. I said, Cause I wanted my own paint. Have y'all ever seen me paint a bird house? Other than when Steven was doing it? It's all still set in the house now. So see, I'm bad too. Oh, oh golly, help my back. All right, here's some seeds. Might be a good time to plant them this year. And this is the neatest little. Man, somebody sent him this from New Zealand. Whoever you are, thank you. I'm going to remind him that he has it. It is a knife keychain. And look. If they don't want it, I'll take it. It's me. I mean, it is really me. Of course, Bentley would probably love to have it. But I'm not going to put this in the project box. 
because this is something that they need to be using. And these seeds, they need to be planted. Don't make me have to get out here and dig a hole and plant some seeds like Grandma now. She done told me that was good dirt out there to plant something with. But I think she actually meant like tomatoes and squash and stuff like that. And you know, y'all, Grandma's got to live forever now. I'm telling y'all, we just gonna have to be raptured together because she's the farmer. She knows how to do all that. And if it's in war that they're starting, escalates into World War III, we're gonna need some vegetables around the house. And y'all know me. Mystery Man's or Steven's, but I bought Mystery Man some nice Dewalt batteries and a drill for Christmas. And it come in a bag sort of like this. And they were royal, ro royal or however you say it, ruby or royal or whatever. But I don't know whose it is. I'm not claiming it. I'm just sitting right here for whoever wants it next, before next Saturday. Because y'all, I'm telling y'all, they might think I'm kidding. But next Saturday is a deadline to claim your stuff. Uh-oh. I missed a bucket. Is, but it ain't big enough for nothing, so we're gonna throw it away. Look, just when you think you don't own a funnel, ha <laughs> ha, you own two. but it is more than 200.
and y'all just gonna have to let me almost be right about that because I'm not count, counting. <laughs> okay, this bowl, this bowl could be another rain catcher, skeeter trapper, whatever. Okay, men, folks, Ron, Brian, Yankee Daddy, whoever's in there. What's this contraption? You know what? It reminds me of prison shackles. <laughs> Not that I ever been to prison. Some kind of brace, something ain't. Well, this stays in the key pile till somebody claims it or don't claim it. And then it goes in the throw away pile. I ain't exactly sure. I think this is ties. Zip ties. I ain't exactly sure, though. Now, we all know what this is. And y'all, I see no earthly reason to keep this. It can't cost much. You probably can get one at the dollar store. So I'm making a conscious choice. Nah, I can't throw it away. Nah, let's put it in here. But I ain't washing it. I ain't washing it. Nope, ain't got time. I ain't washing it. All right. This is the helmet. I know y'all know, even the women know this. The welding helmet. You wear this when you weld, if you got good sense. Because if you don't, it'll burn your eyes. And if you don't believe it, ask Danny. your face until you made sure it was clean real good and there ain't no fire in it. But I don't think they no danger at nobody welding no time soon. So. Alright. Another funnel on. Just go up there. Cause I done ooh look at here what I have found. Look what I have found. Miss Tammy's back. It's about had it. Oh my goodness. I think these need to go in a project thing. I think Stephen might have kept them for a project. Because I don't see no head and body in here that goes with them, so. I would say he was going to use them for some kind of project. Hey, we're getting to the table. The reason I ain't done nothing with this is, man, it's got all kind of junk in it. Screws and nuts and bolts, and I need to throw this bucket away. which it's got leaves and see all this stuff. I'm sure there's something in there that's needed. More than one thing. Probably something that some of them's been hunting. But I ain't, I'm, I'm getting tired now. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna sort this out. All right. Over my dining room table, and I told her that I wanted it. 
and that I would come get it, but she come, and she goes to our church, and she said, I'll bring it. It's probably been set, <coughs> sitting in the middle of this table a year. And as much as I want to move it, I can't. So, all right, let me finish with this box here. This goes in here. Here's another New Zealand keychain. You know what? I think somebody might have sent Steve and these to give them away on his project channel. And I could be. Okay, this says it come from New Zealand, but I, if it didn't have New Zealand on it, I, bl I would think that Brian sent it. Can y'all see it? Now, don't this bottle opener just look like it's got Brian all over it? It looks like 36, 24, 36, or maybe 35. I don't think the bottom's quite as wide as the top, but it looks like a bottle opener to me. But you know what? This deserves a nail. It needs to be hung out here in full view. People need to be able to enjoy that. So that one is, here's a sponge. So that one is going on. I don't know what this is. It looks like a telephone jack thing. But anyway, it's going in the trash. All right. There's something in here. Oh, I don't know what. Some kind of saw, probably. Drill or saw. It's going on here. They can sort that out. All right. Here's Danny's antenna wire. Y'all be surprised. This wire comes in handy. I'm gonna hang it right here. Just for the sake of being able to find it. Okay. This is an aerator pump thing. I would assume it's fishing. This goes in the, this well goes in the craft box. This goes over here. The aerator thing is going to go right there. I threw that away because I done tripped on it two or three times. I'm tired of tripping on it. All right. All right. Paintbrush. All right, here's a bunch of screws. I mean, this is just going to be the assorted jump thing. Go through, get what you want out of it. Dump the rest. Because y'all, I'm telling you, I, I think I got tired. My back's hurting. And I'm tired. Woo! But praise the Lord, look what I have found. Bentley and them and Steven, they will lay caps, tops around anywhere. Look, I hit the jackpot. Uh-oh, dang, I threw it. I got to get that out. All right. Now look at here. If y'all ain't getting the fishing fever out here, I tell y'all what, look at here. I told Stephen I was getting the fishing fever yesterday. I told him I was getting the fever yesterday on his video, and he thought I was sick. Uh-oh. It done hung in my glove again. Uh-oh. I said no. He said, oh, he texted me back. He said, oh, fishing fever, not 102. I said, that's right. I, I'm not sick getting the fishing fever. Look at here. I got to remember what I've done with the other one. Oh, it's right here. All right, y'all. Y'all been to the hardware store and bought any screws or anything lately? 
All right, that's prod. Y'all be saving these little screws too. They think a mighty lot of that stuff now. Oh, this piece says pattern. I don't know what it's a pattern to, but it says pattern. So I gotta keep it. Steven, I know what it's a pattern to. All right. Here's a bag. Ain't unzipping it. Ain't even gonna begin to look in it. Don't know what's in it. Don't care what's in it. I'm tired. This is Danny's by the wheel home that he put the copper wire on. We got to keep that. And lay it right down on that saw. I bought a pair, oh my goodness. I bought a pair of these right here two different times. I'm assuming that this is probably the first pair or either this is a pair Stephen had because these, these things, they together. They got to have some WD-40 and some muscle power. But I'm going to hang them right over here. Because I won't ever be able to use them. All right. Y'all, here's the screw bucket. Can't get it on finger. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that nut mounds. Don't see? That's why I don't sing. Look, I found a nut. I'm gonna keep this thing too. I'll put it in this bucket where they can sort it out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's another story right there. Let's just I don't know whose fittings them are. Now, somebody with good sense would stand on the other side of that. Easy bake ovens. I don't know what kind of oven this is. I guess it's a toaster oven. Uh oh. It won't hurt to have a little bit of sunflower seeds in the in the tote, will it? still on oh yeah okay got i don't see no chat y'all ain't left me have you oh come on oh there's some all right y'all don't leave me yet i'm getting there
I'm sure this is something that we need. I can't imagine us having something we don't need. But anyway. Well, hey there. Did y'all see him when he walked by? He came to visit. I actually think it's a girl. Hey. You want something to eat? Going back that quick. You just got one?
right, y'all. <laughs> y'all tell me what you think. I know some of y'all are still in there. Did I do okay? Did I get did I get my, my project done? Uh-oh! Here he comes, y'all! <laughs> Let me get my chair before he gets out here and gets in my chair. <laughs> now, nah, let me move my phone. How y'all like that? He's coming out the door smiling, y'all. Now, I want to see him get out here and do him a project. <laughs> I found your table, Daddy. Uh-huh. It brings his thing over here, Phil. All right, well, you go ahead. Y'all let him talk to you. I'm gonna go get me something to drink since he walked out here. I'll be right back. Oh, That's his Stevens. That's why I didn't know where to put it. But it ain't on your table. Yep. Hey, I will get out here and build stuff, y'all. Hey, Liam. Oh, hey, y'all, uh, hey, mama's got a trailer down there. And it's slam pool, too. Stephen Reeves needs a storage building. I don't know how much them things are, do y'all? Y'all know how much them storage buildings like where you rent? Until Stephen gets something built at his house. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey y'all, I, I will get out here and build stuff. Man, I can build like a son of a gun, boy. Hey, Timmy, uh, huh? better bring a little charger. Is it the one that clips to the side? Yeah. I got out here yesterday, y'all, and uh, I finished up the generator. I did get that boat that was hard to put in. I did get it in there. And I changed the, the air filter on the camper, you know, the, on the generator. I got out here and changed the oil in the big motor, you know, the driving motor. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready to quit, but I had to quit, you know, for the concert. Oh, uh, cause, and here's the deal with me, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna be go. I'm gonna be going soon. I don't, I don't know about Tammy, but I'm gonna be going soon. Oh, uh, he does. Yeah. Oh, uh, we gotta figure out how to get this on there, Tim. Uh, hold on, it's tight. Okay, this has got to be turned. With this turn right here? Yeah, just a minute. Let me set this down. I seen the load charger come on here. Did you? Yeah. <sighs> hey, y'all, Tim. About every time this thing's cleaned up, Timmy does it. Stephen helped me last time. Okay. Hey, just put it on here and I'll stick it on there. I ain't want you to take that all the way off. Oh, I was going to say, now I don't know how to put it back on there. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Let me do it. No, here's the deal, y'all. I can't stay out here all day doing it. I can't either. Wait a minute, Jim. Huh? That ain't for. You're gonna have to get the other one. That ain't for the iPhone there. I forgot about that. Okay. No wonder it won't fit. Yes, you're trying to put the wrong judge on him. Hey, Tim is the fastest person to clean up I've ever seen.
Hey, she, sometimes she's kind of slow getting started, but when she gets started, son, she do it now. I remember when I was going to say, see, I can't come out here and hang out all day. And uh, I've been watching a long time, talking on the phone and stuff, but, but uh, I had that camper pulled out yesterday, and I just backed it in there before the concert, backed it back in. But, like, I got to... Uh, We got to figure out how to hold it. That looks like the wrong end, Tim. Well, that's a real big end. I think that's the wrong end. I think that's another... It'll go in there. Listen, baby, that's the wrong end right there. Well, this is what it was charged to. Well, this is a charging cord. It, the iPhone has got a little end. Most of them got a white tip. I'll be back. Hey, get the iPhone cord up on the, at the kitchen table there, team. Okay. Hey, I think I'm seeing this for about the third time. I can't hang out here all, here all day long. And this right here, Tammy knows how to do when I start working on that camper. She don't know how to do that. But anyway, I about got it through anyway, though. The camper. But, um... Stephen come here, y'all. He took a bunch of stuff, put it down there in Grandma's trailer. And uh, she actually put stuff in there herself. But now, see how little that mm -hmm. is, Tim? Mm -hmm. I got it now. I, I I understand now. Did you make sure that's sweet, Tom? <laughs> no. See it? Yep, it's, yeah, it's on. Okay. All right, y'all, now we don't have to worry about going off. I'm proud of the table. Whew, but I'm tired now. I got rest. But y'all, I cleaned it off. I told y'all I was going to clean it off. I still got to, but you know, I still got to put a good, I got more stuff to do than like the uh, camper. And uh, I got a Verizon hotspot in that camper and cannot remember to simply get it out of the camper. I need to charge it up. Make sure it's working. Y'all know what I thought he, he said? He needed a charge. I thought he was fixing to tell me he needed another charge. Get him through the thing in the floor. Well, I'm gonna sit here by my, uh, by my clean table. Do I need to scoot on up a little closer? Oh, no, they can hear me. They said they could hear me when I was back in talking to them. But I'm tired, y'all. Let me get my shirt where you don't see all my rolls. And I didn't wear Selma's new britches out here today because I didn't want to get them dirty. I knew what I was going to do. So when I get me a bath, I'll put on some of my new britches. And you know, I put in chat while I go to... See, Bentley drove that camper down to Grandma's. I mean, the four-wheeler down to Grandma's. And then, hey... He didn't drive it back. He got off of it. And Steve went and picked him up. So, 
He might have been like two weeks before Bentley was back. Lord, please take the germs out. At that camp. Amen. And you know, they looked everywhere for the keys. And they might have even went through all the pants pockets in the camper that he wore. But I bet you they in pants pockets, in pants pocket in that camper somewhere. They probably are. I can't imagine just the keys disappearing, but like, we've had the keys to disappear. And Bentley's always been pretty good about hanging them up where, right where they're supposed to go in that camper, but uh, he just got sidetracked that day. And Damn, he lost some keys out here. That we, never, we never did find them. We don't have no idea what she done with it. I mean, it I was key. I don't know what they was to no more. But I got two keys to a car that won't run. I'm fixing to take what I got in the trunk and the glove compartment out. Yeah. And then Mystery Man can put on his list to get out here and take the radio out of it. Because we're going to be calling the... My niece's husband, Justin, Dustin, excuse me, Dustin, to come out here and pick it up and take it away. Bring us a little cash for it. I don't, I mean, don't know. Uh, don't call him before that battery's took out of that car, because it's... I'm not. You got to take the radio out, too. Because Lord knows I don't know why, because every CD or DVD, every CD I put in that thing hangs up in it. So. It but, does. But you said you wanted to get the radio out of it. Hey, y'all, that reminds me. Strip well, if, it down. <laughs> if the CD player ain't working, I mean, I don't... I ain't no need to take it out. I mean, that's the car that they, they kept all hanging in and wanted to be in there six months for it, finally would decide to eject. But it's Tammy's... Tammy... Y'all, Tammy don't mind, like, listening to the radio. Man, mm -hmm. she probably likes to listen to the radio. Rather listen to the radio. And the only time I turn it on is in the afternoons coming home, because... In the morning time, when I'm going to work, I talk to Jesus. You do? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't turn the radio on. It's just me and the Lord. In the afternoon, sometimes I'll turn it on, but not all the time. Because I'm... I don't know. I have to pay <coughs> attention to driving. I'm going to ask y'all a question, all right? Uh... You know, I still ain't fixed the sinks. That's right. Hey, they ain't leaking. I got the, it's the hot water on the kitchen sink that's cut off. Tammy said, I have cut, I have cut that hot water on, you know, the hot water side a million times. But like it's turned off under the sink, you know, cause it's leaking. And uh, in my bathroom sink, uh, the water's cut off on it too. It's actually the fitting. Oh. Uh, one of them's the hose. And one of them's the fitting. But like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna get the camper through with today. But that's still hanging over my head. The house. Them sinks. That's still hanging over my head. And I can't feel good about, oh, uh, like going to leave and go camping. And that's hanging over my head. And I'll tell you what I ain't going to do. Before I go camping, them sinks is going to be fixed. And I've been going to get Stephen to help me do it. Uh, but uh, he's gone. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? He's always got somewhere to go. That's because he's still young. Wait till he gets about and, 20 more years on him. And hell, it can be. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like a simple fix. But you got to go to you gotta 
take the stuff off. Excuse me. And go out there to Home Depot mm. and try to figure out what, I don't even know if you can buy that no more. And it's not little rubber hoses on it like this on a car where you put the rubber hose on there and then screw a clamp on it. It was that, them, that, like in the bathroom, that clamp was put on there with a, with some kind of a tool. Look, we can add 10 cent to my super chat. I found a dime. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I mean, I really ain't even had a chance to even look at that. And then, and then like the water's got to be cut off to fix it, the one in the bathroom. I can fix the, other, the kitchen sink, but the one in the bathroom, the water's got to be cut off. And once you, once you cut that line, it's got to be fixed. Because you can't cut the water back on until it's fixed. And I told him I wanted to, like his opinion on it and everything. Trying to get him interested, it didn't work. <laughs> the stuff that's in the buckets is what I know for sure is Stevens. Everything else is up there. Did you hear my uh my instructions for you and Steven? No, I was on the phone about half the time. I know. Well, you and Steven have till next Saturday morning to go through this stuff and pick out what y'all's is and put it somewhere besides on this table. And after next Saturday, it goes in the trash can if y'all hadn't claimed it. <coughs> well, you can take it up there and sit on the front porch, Tim. No, he can't. T I'm not talking about taking his stuff to his house. You you getting it wrong. His stuff can go in these totes. All right, but tell me again what to do. I'm giving you and Stephen the next Saturday morning to go through this stuff. If it's yours, get it in your building. If it's his, he can put it in the rest of these totes. Oh, uh, you didn't go cram everything in the top in 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 the buildings out there? No, it's sitting right there on that table. Oh, okay. Y'all got the I don't know who's is whose. But you put Yours in the building. He gets his. He can put it in these other totes. It's like I told them. He can't start carting all this stuff over there to his house. His house is not finished. He's already uh, got way too uh, much. Listen. It's like the chickens. In. No, it's different from the chickens. The chickens is outside. He can't take bins and bins of stuff over there. Not without storage buildings. He's got too much stuff in that house already to, to try to continue to work on it. Well, I said set stuff on the porch. No! The nice porches is already full of stuff. No! It don't work like that. I didn't clean it off for it to be hauled over there. I cleaned it off so you can have your table. When he finishes hey. the house and he gets ready to move this stuff, then that's fine. Hey, don't, don't think, son, I won't get out here and build these folks some stuff. Well, you're welcome. Well, you know I love you, Tim. I know you love me. But I fixed it so you could get out here because of a YouTuber. When you was out here showing all this mess, a YouTuber said something about we needed to get one of those large bins. You know what? I tried to get you to get a large bin, didn't I, for me. That, that it, table there, y'all, is when you put a table like that. He's changing the subject. People will set stuff down. I'm talking about I will set stuff down. Tammy will set stuff down. And like, it'll get to the point where it, it's just like it was. Well, I clean it off. I can set on anything I want to on yeah, uh, whenever I, I, I've come out here, y'all, and, uh, try to clean up 
But like, I don't get nothing done. The last time it was cleaned up, me and Stephen cleaned it up. The the floor, the under the table. The, uh oh, I threw my gloves away. And um. Matter of fact, when Stephen sees Tammy done clean the table off, he probably said he might want to do a project. <laughs> he might, hadn't he? He's got a project over yonder. Yeah, he's a, a um, he's got to get focused back on the house. He was watching my video earlier. Oh, today? Uh-huh. Yeah. And Christina was, too. Yeah, I seen Christina in there. But he got to get focused back on the house. I ain't talking about the, uh, the flowers he planted the other day. That was a good thing. But like, uh, you know what I mean? He ain't worked on the house in a while, you know? Yeah. Well, he's waiting on different folks. But... Yeah, he did get messed up by the electrician. Wormy was back out here this morning, uh, though. Here's the deal about the electrician, y'all. It was going to be $11,000. I said, no way. $11,000, no way. I said, oh, just hired a man to come put the panel box on the outside of the house and the panel box on the inside of the house. And I said, we'll run the wires ourselves. So he went and told the man that. So if the man can't, if the man can't make $11,000, he don't want to do it. So he ain't, you know what I mean? He ain't been back. Well, the Lord will work it out. Somehow. You know, with the $11,000, that, that might not even have been no bad deal. Oh, uh, as far as... And that was... That was including the man putting... Running all the wiring... And him coming back and hooking up the lights and the ceiling fans. And Stephen was planning on having a whole bunch of reset lights up there in the ceiling. So, actually, it was going to be a pretty good bit of work. But it still probably can be done in a week. And that's, that's a hell of a lot of money for $11,000. Is a lot of money to poor people. That's like a mechanic. You get paid for that degree that they went to school and got for their know-how. Well, uh, I know how to do that stuff, Tim. I said, I said, boy, and and like me and Tammy know an electrician. She there's a man that worked with her that's an electrician, and he. He quit, but he still works. He quit out there with Tammy, but he still works. I said, you know, that panel box, it has to be right. The outside one where the electricity goes in to the panel box on the inside aisle, it has to be right. It has to be like it's the dumbest work. thing ever. But it, but it has to be Every little thing has to be just right. And uh, I said, let's get man to do that. And I said, hell, we'll run one wire a day. You know, one wire a day. And if we run one wire a day since then, what'd they be? 30 wires run? They just run one a day. So here's the more to that story. Uh, this is granddaddy's thinking, you know, mama's dead. If you got a tree in your yard you want to cut down with an axe, you ain't got to go out here and kill yourself cutting a tree down. You can go out there and cut for 30 minutes. And then go out there the next day and cut for 30 minutes. You can do it with a hatchet. 
It don't matter how big the tree is. You can cut it down. And you ain't got to cut it all down in one day. And you ain't got to run every wire in the house in one day. I done got it all figured out, y'all. You mark the wire. Run it into the panel box. You mark it. This is bedroom light. Now it's a good telling why some you man. Well, I've been telling him all this stuff, y'all. I mean, just like hell. I mean, I can't make him do it, you know. I can say, let's do this. I said, I'll come over there and help you run away. He's got so much to do. I don't even see how he keeps up with what he's gonna do each day. But like, do. You know, I'm the one that ruined the wiring all, all out here, you know. But, like, I pretty much know how it goes. And then this guy, that, this man that's retired from where Tammy works at, he's a good friend of ours, me and Tammy. And I'm sure you can ask him any question you want to ask him. And I, I don't think he's the I don't think he's the kind of man that wouldn't that minded telling you something if you got in your car and you rode over there. And like for example, your your receptacles in your room is going to be so far from the floor to the, you know, it's got to be so many inches from the floor all the way around the room. You can't put but so many receptacles on one wire, on one wire. And there's stuff you have to know. But it's not, I don't think it's a big deal. Doing that. And I mean, it's a pain in the butt. But I mean, well, you can pay $11,000. Well, if you had to listen to me, you would have called that man to begin with, and he would have done had it. Hey, Tim. Before. Like, you think I ain't been telling Stephen about? Well, I'll tell him again. I said, you want Tim to call that man? You won't have to. You won't have to. If he was willing to do it, because, I mean, he stays busy. If he was willing to do it, he would give the best fair price of anybody. You, you wouldn't have a need of going and getting another estimate. You can believe it would be done right. Well, I told him that and too. It would be done for the best possible price that. Well, I told him he that too, do. Tim. I, I told mean, him that too. So. Now you might have to wait a week or two on him. But I mean, you're waiting anyway. But my man. And then, you know, and then again, you look at it like. Oh. Uh, I reckon it really ain't a mercy. No, but I'm ready to see him get further with the house too. And you got to, uh, you do. Uh, you got to know if you're gonna put sheetrock on the walls or, or if you're gonna put wood on the wall. Well, cause your your receptacle. And your light switches. They have to be set to whatever the thickness of the wood or the sheetrock is. If it's sheetrock, you know, I guess it might be half inch. But like wood is like, but you know, be three quarters of an inch. And 
And uh, I actually told him. Now I don't know where it is in Dublin. But uh, somebody told me, you can go get the specs. To how you do that electricity, you can go get the specs. And I told him, I ain't gonna go do it myself. And, and you know, uh, this ain't pertaining to Stephen, but I know people in this situation. And, uh, you know, somebody around me. And it's actually a bunch of people, you know. This, this is, pertains to a bunch of people. There's some people. If you said, well, I mean a tight man, I need to borrow a thousand dollars. And, and you loan me a thousand dollars. Get me out of the tight. I pay you back, you know, cause it's tough. Uh, you know, I pay you back within three months or six months or whatever, you know, when I get my income tax back, I pay you back. But when, but then there's such thing as, is you don't have enough money to bail some people out. Yeah. When, you know I me, mean, they live beyond their means and they don't care. They got, they can't have a car like Tammy's here. It costs $1,800. Two thousand. They don't want no car like that. Uh, they want one that they look flashy in. And they don't wear clothes from Walmart. And everything they do, they want to look good but they ain't got no money. And you will go broke trying to keep somebody up that don't care, that don't, that don't never seem to learn their lesson. It's just a damn broke record over and over and over. You can't, you can't keep them going. Their that, that lights is about to get cut out. Their, their air conditioning don't work on their car. Oh, they look good. And you don't know that a man that's got a suit on has even got any underwear on. <laughs> Y'all, I'm hey. fixing to go get that stuff out of that other car. I've enjoyed it. I love y'all. I'll be praying for y'all. And, uh... Hey, Tim, it said a minute, and, uh, i tell them one other thing, and I'll get off, too. Y'all, all right, y'all don't forget to check on, uh, Cheryl and Brian, too. Hey, y'all, I know a bunch of people like that. Hey, hey Grandma helped me and Tammy. But it wasn't a lifelong thing helping us. You know, one day, that person's got to learn to stand on their own two feet without you keeping them propped up. And y'all, this is a very big thing that I'm talking about. You know, they got to have a certain kind of car. 
where they look good. And then you see them at the gas pump getting $2 worth of gas. And they got a, 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 a $1,200 iPhone. And you got to realize, and I know some of y'all was in this same uh, predicament. You got to realize, you got to let them learn. Hey, the system will put you in your place. So, I mean, if you go all the way down to, you need food stamps, I guess you might be happy then. I, I, I knew a boy I went to school with. It, he wouldn't go pump five dollars worth of gas. That was embarrassing to him to pump five dollars worth of gas. His mama was. His mama married a, a man that was rich. The woman wasn't even rich, but she married a rich man. And them youngins ain't worth two cents now. None of them. All right. So y'all know the deal. You'll go broke trying to keep somebody from drowning. You might even drown yourself. And then when you drown, they're going to drown. Because everybody ain't going to just fork money out. Last thing, y'all, was I went to Amazon a couple of days ago. I need them. I need some trickle chargers, and I had some, but I mean, they went bad. But man, have y'all seen how much everything's went up? I, and $60 for a trickle charger? $60? Oh, oh, Lynn, there's a bunch of people like that. There's a bunch of people like that that live beyond their... I, I mean, hell, man, I mean, I know a bunch of people. I know a bunch of people myself. And, and uh, let me tell you something, y'all. This ain't fitting to get better, neither. They spending one... No, they... They printing one trillion dollars every hundred days. And let me tell you what that is. That's putting money in people's hands. But that's a one-way street that won't hold up, son. Sooner or later, the monopoly money is going to run out. It, it, it won't, it won't keep going. You, you believe me. So, in the meantime, why are they doing all this? And the people that's getting this free money, they're the ones up there buying the hamburgers. Well, you decide you'll eat egg sandwich. They the ones that's eating out and living big. And they spreading the money and it's, it's a fake thing. It's fake. It's, it's fake. 
ain't gonna hold up. There is one other thing, and I told y'all this on my channel. You know, I was playing it by gut when I said it, talking to y'all. I was talking about them blackmail. Oh uh, yeah, you seen the politician that stand there and look right in your face, right in that camera smiling, playing to you. And then when he goes to vote, he votes to send that money over to that other country. I finally heard him say it the other day. They, and the, the number one choice of blackmail is, is, is put a woman in there. Him, them politicians, they like race car drivers and policemen. They love women. And they can't help themselves. And that's how they get them. You want to know, are, you know, are they stupid? No, they ain't stupid. Somebody somewhere got pictures of them. I finally heard them say that on TV. I already knew that. But I finally heard, them, heard one of the senators say that the other day. I came to come and say your prayer and everything. Oh. Dropping everything. I guess so. Uh, don't be surprised where you wake up a year from now. Uncle Dana told you, it ain't getting better, and it ain't fitting to get better. You can count on it. Okay. i see y'all next time. You ain't got to leave. Well, I mean, I'm not doing anything. Hey, y'all. I appreciate all y'all watching me and listening to Danny. I'm glad he come out here and talked to y'all a few minutes. At least I got my project done. I got the table cleaned off, so that's probably about all I'm going to do today. <laughs> I need to go to the grocery store, but I'm going to be resting. I got my stuff out of the car, but uh, there wasn't nothing in the trunk. I forgot I had just vacuumed the trunk out and cleaned it out good. It's, Was there a jack in there, Tammy? Uh, it's up under that thing that's all cleaned out. You'll have to get all that stuff out. That's your job if you want what's under the thing. It's clean, though. But anyway, I know there was some prayer requests. We prayed for Matthew. We prayed for Brian. Y'all, we... I was glad to see Blooming in there. I wanted to be able to find out if she actually had any destruction when she had that tornado, but I was glad she was in there today. What did you just say? Blooming had a tornado go through. Yeah. Yeah, you said something else, sir. Something about destruction. If she had any destruction around her place. She does have it around her place. Uh, well, see, I, I didn't know. I just knew that they went through in, a tornado. But in the neighborhood and stuff. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad God protected her and she's okay. And, but anyway, uh, thank y'all moderators. Thank y'all for the super chats. Um, thank y'all for tolerating me being away from the camera and not looking at all the comments. But um, I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for everything that you do for us, what you're doing for us right now, and what you're going to do in the future, Lord. And we just want you to know how much we appreciate it. I thank you, Lord, for the ones getting on here saying that they need prayer. I thank you for the ones getting on here giving their praise reports. 
I didn't look at a lot of that today, Lord, but I will go back and I will look at some of it. But I just want you to know that we thank you for sparing the lives and the homes of the ones who have been in the earthquakes and the tornadoes. And y'all, it's, it's not over. And I, I'm afraid earthquakes and tornadoes is, is, is not all we got to worry about. If, uh, if y'all watching anything about the news, we are very, very close to World War III, and it's coming. All I can do is tell you to get right with Jesus and just have faith in the Lord and hang on, because we don't know if it's going to be that or if it's going to be health issues or what. None of us is promised tomorrow. We not even promised this afternoon. But I want y'all to know that <laughs> I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And it's one thing to be sitting beside somebody and in the next minute you or them be gone. I mean, it can happen. So y'all please, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please seek him out and get right. So you can be apprehensive if you're saved and a storm comes, but if you're saved, you know who's going to get you through the storm one way or other. And dear Lord, I, I just ask you to continue to bless our, all our YouTube channels, Lord, and Stephen's TikTok. I ask you to keep us all safe on the roadways, Lord. Anybody that's traveling, whether it's for work or for a distance, I, and just right around here in town, Lord, I need all the protection I can get. Help us to pay attention and be aware. And dear Lord, be with the families in Dublin that has lost loved ones this past couple of weeks, and especially the family that had the drive-by shooting, Lord. We just pray that you would just touch them, the one in Dublin and the one in Rents. There was lives lost, Lord. And, you know, the sad part is, is they didn't even get who they was targeting. So dear Lord, we just ask you to be with everybody whether we in a restaurant or where we at, Lord, I just pray that you will just be with us and you keep us safe until you get ready for us to be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, I love y'all. Just stay aware. Stay aware of your surroundings. Make sure your heart's right with God and, and take it as it comes. That's all you can do. And I've had people ask me before, was I afraid to die? No, I'm not afraid to die. The only thing, like I said this morning, I fear is God. And we're supposed to fear God. We love him, but we're supposed to fear him. And, uh, you know, just get right and hang on. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but it's going to be worth it. All right, love y'all. We'll see y'all next time, if the Lord permits. Bye-bye. Hey, bye, y'all. <clears throat> I, you know, on my channel, I get them nearly eight, maybe. Hey, mm -hmm. I ain't saying when I'm gonna get on there. <laughs> Not no more. I ain't gonna say when Timmy's gonna be on there no more, neither. That's hey, a good thing. <laughs> hey, we'll see y'all. <laughs>